in this video we'll be talking about the Mambra F405 flight controller and the ESC that comes with it. I started to produce the video footage for this when I was in Scotland. Um, I had a major bout of the flu while I was there and due to the fact of that I then ended up trying to make the video and it, I've just been watching the footage and it looks horrendous and it's not something I'm willing to put out to yourself so therefore I'm going to have to redo it. The flight controller and the ESC is already installed in the frame I was, I was putting it in for testing and I'm obviously not going to desolder the whole thing and pull it all back out so we'll, we'll figure out how this video is going to work. Let me know in the uh, comments box what you thought of it. Um, while I was in Scotland, as I said, I wasn't well, I, so I tried making the video and it's just it makes no sense whatsoever, so we'll start again. So I'll leave this uh, intro just here because we've just hit just over a minute. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty of this, so I'll see you all in a second. Alright guys, so let's have a little, well, get into the nitty gritty and have a little look at this, eh? I think that's where we need to be, so we'll just... Uh, Pull these two standoffs out quick, which, uh, hold up, where's that just gone? There's one. Just undo this one. Obviously not a standoff, it's a nut, but I know what I meant. And then, uh, undo them two plugs. Incidentally, this is the Banggood UX14 uh, multi-protocol receiver. This runs FR Sky as well as Fly Sky, but there'll be a... Uh, Another video on this once I've done some range testing on it, but it seems like a good idea to be fair. But you know, we'll, uh, we'll throw that off to one side and, and crack on because that's not what this video is about. Right, so here she is. Now, this looks like every other flight controller on the planet, to be fair. It's a F405 based flight controller I, with a MPU 6000 gyro. It has 16 gig of flash memory for it, sorry, 16 meg of 16 gig, what am I on about? 16 meg of flash memory, if I uh, remember rightly on the specs, for black box logs. Uh, and I'm not too sure if it's got an SD card holder, which we'll find out once I've finished undoing these. And I do apologise for all the hands and stuff in front of the, uh, the camera yet again, but unfortunately that's what we have to deal with. So, let's just uh, rip that off, and then, uh, right. I do like the way all of this just flies together with plugs, to be honest, but, you know, uh, I just don't like the taking it to bits bit, which is uh, always a bit of a nightmare. Let's see if we can get this plug on the tweezers. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise as well. I've got the 3D printer knocking up a bracket for someone in Scotland. So uh, I'll try and keep the microphone as far away from it as possible. We we have released it. All right, anyway, so obviously this is your ESC and this is your flight controller. We'll go through the ESC first. Uh, the ESC is a 40 amp ESC with a 50 amp burst and it's rated to 6S. Now, as you can see, there's not much in the way of capacitors on this. Uh, there's obviously the three on the top and there's a couple on the bottom as well, but there's there's not there's not a lot of capacitors for filtering, basically is what I'm trying to say. So due to the fact of that, it comes with a 460 microfarad capacitor to stick obviously on the positive and negative terminal here which in turn should reduce video noise but I don't believe it's going to reduce it that much because normally you'd end up running you know hobby wing system comes with a 560 for running 4s and then it comes with a one a uh, thousand microfarad for running 6s now if you're going to run this on 6s you should as far as I'm concerned you shouldn't be running a 460 on it so I took matters into my own hands and I have installed, which I hope you can see, 560 there, which to me seems sufficient and I'm happy with that for running 4S. 
As I said, the ESC is rated to 6S, but obviously I don't run 6S, I only run up to a max of 4, so, you know, well, I only ever run 4 now, to be honest with you, but that's that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, there's not really much else to talk about the ESC, you know, it's it, you need to, in my opinion, upgrade the capacitor and upgrade it to a low noise one as well. Um, the f it would have been nice to put a bit more filtering on, but they haven't, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, then we may as well go on to the flight controller next. Um, the flight controller, as I said, is an F405 with a... Let's get all of this out of the way, so you can see. It's an F405 based flight controller with an MPU 6000 gyro. Now the MPC, MPU 6000 gyro is limited to 8K. So you can only run your PID loop as a max of 8K, 8K. And it will run at 8K, 8K on the flight control. You may have to overclock it. Now I do have a video on overclocking the processor. Um, on an F4 flight controller, I will put it somewhere up there in that corner, or it might be in this. In fact, I'll put it up in this corner, so it'll be up in your right-hand corner. If you click that, that'll run through with how that'll run through how to overclock the processor and utilization down by overclocking it. But you don't want to do it too much because otherwise you end up burning the processor out. But anyway, that's a little disclaimer. Uh, right. It's it's already soft mounted, so you've got little soft mounts here. Now, personally, I don't think these are big enough, but we'll give them a go and see how they do. And then I know the run cam split 2S came with some, so I might well pop them in because they're a little bit thicker, but the the rubber's softer, and uh, we'll see how it does with them. But it'll be all good. Um, the ESC, just while I think on, will run at. D shot 600, which will be the max that the flight controller can run at as well, because the flight controller can't run D shot 12. Well, it can run D shot 1200, but the ESC can't. And there's no point running D shot 1200 unless you're running a 32 16 pid loop or a 16 16 pid loop or a 16 8 pid loop. Um, anyway, stop talking about pid loops and get into the flight controller. The flight controller as well has a little plug down here which will plug straight into the ESC so there's no soldering of wires between the ESC and the flight control it's just a literally a plug and away you go um, it looks to be fair like every other flight control the layout of it's quite nice you can run 6s power directly to it if you want from there and there it has a really beefy two volt, a really beefy five volt two amp regulator on it, so it'll run your VTX and your camera all day long with, with no issues. Um, it has three different UARTs. So you've got UART six, which I think that one is. Hang on one sec. No, you've got UART UART three here, TX and RX. You have UART six, TX and RX there. There's also a UART three over on this side. Um, and they're both linked now the reason why they have a UART 3 over there is because you can run your smart audio through it for your VTX which is what this is soldered up as so you have your 5 volt your ground then after that you have the RX and the, sorry TX and then your video as well and then on the front which would be that bit there your camera solders in here so obviously you've got 5 volt ground and your camera and then it does have the two buzzer pads next to that, so you've got the buzzer, positive and negative next to it. So if you do run a buzzer, then that's where you put it. If you're running a different TSC and the plug doesn't correspond as well, you can solder into these wires and it will show underneath which one's which. So you've got motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4. Then let me see what else we've got. We've got VCC, ground. And that's pretty much where we're at with this. Um, bind button, sorry, boot button is on the side. So you've got negative, positive. Positive is 5 volt. Then you have, next to that, I'm going to use the PPM pad as the smart port telemetry. So your telemetry from your radio will come back to there. And then the S bus pad is what we will use for obviously where the radio talks to the flight controller 
I will make a video on how to do the soft serial setup for running your smart port through there or through the PPM pad which it's if I remember rightly it's TX11 I think it's called here within the software so the issue that I've had with this so far is the pads are really close together now I regard myself as a decent solder you know, I can I can solder you know, I'm not the best in the world obviously you know but I can do it um, it turned out when I ran that I always run a multimeter over my fresh builds every time I build one just to make sure that there's no shorts and it turned out I had a short now the short that I had was between these two which is obviously the 5 volt no, which is one of the 5 volt circuits um, when I plugged it, when I ran the when I ran the test on it, it came up showing there was a short and it was there and there was a little tiny bit of solder between the two solder joints which in turn was shorting out the 5 volt now personally if you are a new builder I would not recommend this system uh, and the reason why I wouldn't recommend it is because the, the soldering is it's a pain in the backside shall we say to do uh, it can be hard and it can be very fiddly as well so if you don't if you don't know what you're doing and you haven't soldered up very much well very many things before then I would be not looking at this flight controller or the ESC I would move to something else i.e. like the hobby wing system uh, if you want to go with an all in one um, or you've also got let me see you could use four individual ESCs and use the Speedix system um, with say for instance a Matek F405 and the Matek 6S PDB um, or there's the Matek uh, called VTX PDB as well which also has the video transmitter built into it so that's the only gripe I've got with it so far obviously moving down the line and testing it is going to be the next thing and we'll see how it flies um, but yeah that's the only problem I've had so far so I'm going to uh, wrap this up now so I hope you uh, found that informative there will be flight footage coming out in the next uh, probably say week and a half um, I'll get some flight footage out and then obviously I'll give you a, a final rundown of my thoughts on the, on the system. Um, as I said, the only issue I've really experienced when it's been the soldering pads, they're really small and they're too close together in my opinion. Um, but, you know, hey-ho, that's just me. Various other people like, that, like this system, so we'll see how it flies and how it does. Um, last but not least, there will be affiliate links in the description below. If you could... If you're going to buy anything off Banggood, right, just click on the link, go into Banggood, look for the thing you're looking for and then purchase it. Uh, it doesn't have to be the thing I've linked to, you can, you can literally just use that link, go into Banggood and then buy anything, right, and then it will obviously, you know, give me a little bit of commission. Um, a little bit of commission is basically for, you know, obviously my time making these videos for you guys. And also means I can then put the money from that back into the channel. So I can buy more things to put back into the channel to review for you guys. So then, then obviously I can then start doing the giveaways and things like that. Um, incidentally, I also do have a Patreon. If you would like to become one of my Patreons, um, you will get obviously exclusive footage dedicated for yourselves. And you'll also get these videos before anybody else. Um, there'll be videos that you'll get that other people won't. Now also as well, I'll be doing monthly giveaways. I, it may range from something I've just knocked up on the printer, so you know it could be like say the gimbal holders and you know camera mounts and things like that, all the way up to you know like the Runcam 3S, um, possibly this quad. Uh, also, there's going to be a Baby Hawk car going up on there as well soon. Um, so you know it, if if you like to help support, or support the channel and obviously support myself, um, then I would be more than grateful if you could do that. Uh, and yeah, just do us all, do me a favour and just, you know, get out and fly. Happy flying, guys. Thank you. Bye.